The USCSS Nostromo and its crew has played an integral role in Weyland Yutani's contact with alien life and the discovery of the xenomorph creature. Upon reception of the supposed distress signal sent from LV-426, the Nostromo set down on the planet to investigate further, as per company protocol. The events that followed led to Executive Officer Kane's impregnation of the xenomorph parasite, and the specimen's birth and adaptation to its environment within the Nostromo. While little comparison can be made insofar as to what constitutes an ideal environment for the xenomorph, it's clear that it was able to survive aboard the Nostromo with a fair amount of ease, and an ability to evade attempts by the Nostromo's crew to eliminate it. What follows is an examination of this ship, taken from details made available by the Colonial Marines Tech Manual, the Weyland Yutani Report, and schematics found within the enclosures of the Alien Vault. The Nostromo was built during the years 2100 to 2103 AD, registered to the Weyland Yutani Corporation and Panama of the United Americas. In 2116, it was licensed with the Interstellar Commerce Commission after refitting and refurbishment, both as a commercial towing vehicle and for carriage and transportation of mining and exploratory equipment between Earth, the Sol System, and 20 reticuli. Massing 63,000 metric tons, the Nostromo space frame is based on a modified Lockmart CM88B Bison transporter. The Nostromo is designed to a 6104 layout with three pressurized decks and four main cargo holds. Most of the spare volume is taken up by fuel tanking for its fusion reactor and the reactor mass for thrust engines. An off-axis hood frame mounts the docking latches for the towed cargo. The Nostromo is a sturdy vessel capable of withstanding atmospheric re-entry and for surface landings supported by three main landing docks. Typically whilst in transport, the mineral ore and oil cargo are autonomously processed inside the Tessatech TXR 2100B refinery, with the refined products ready for delivery at terminals and tank farms by the time the Nostromo reaches its destination. The Nostromo is equipped with a docking module and its associated docking arm clamp connector to latch onto and tow the refinery. Once connected, limited commands and functions can be communicated to the refinery using the Mother Command console and bridge. Specifications of the Nostromo space frame include modified Lockmark CM88B M-Class Bison Transport constructed in 2101. As previously mentioned, the Nostromo was refitted as a commercial towing vehicle in 2116 and ran a standard processing route between Earth and the Outer Rim. Originally the Outer Veil, discovered by Whelan Corporation scientists in 2037. There are three main decks of the Nostromo. A deck, holding the galley, bridge infirmary, hypersleep chamber, the mother interface, and the main airlock. B deck for shuttle access and storage. And C deck was equipment storage, observation, and engineering. The landing struts also retracted into C deck. The power core is a lateral, WF-15 2.8 terawatt fusion reactor. The fusion process is a deuterium-tritium reaction that fuses the fuel elements in a containment sphere by process of using conversion lasers. The HE4 byproduct of the reaction is stored separately and vented at regular intervals. Power is drawn off by the reactor by a closed cycle liquid potassium cooling system. This runs off into the induction torus which uses the intense magnetic fields created by the superheated potassium to generate electrical power. The ship may be scuttled by an authorized crew member by overriding the reactor cooling system and bleeding off coolant, which in turn initiates a supercritical reaction in the containment sphere. After activation, the crew have 10 minutes to get clear of the ship before the reactor explodes. In-flight systems are controlled by the central mother processor. Mother is a 2.1 terabyte intelligent mainframe, which monitors all ship's flights and autonomic functions. A 2 terabyte backup mainframe comes online in the event of CPU failure, and a third tier of automatics is capable of sustaining autonomic functions should the backup fail as well. The communications fit is standard, comprising a 10 and 4 meter hyperstate antenna for interstellar communications and short range radio slash video links. Sensors are mounted on the pylons clustered around the forward hull of the ship and comprise of two aperture telescopes capable of optical, spectrographic, and infrared resolution, also consisting of a gas chromograph, centromedic navigation, and landing radar, a synthetic aperture ground mapping radar, and a mass counter for superlight navigation. The Nostromo Superlight Drive is a Yutani T7A NLS tachyon shunt capable of unladen high crews up to 0.42 light years per day. 
When towing large mass cargoes such as automated refineries, the maximum sustainable cruise speed drops radically to approximately 0.1 to 0.12 light years per side real day. For maneuver at sublight speeds while towing a large mass, immensely powerful mass reaction engines are required. Aboard the Nostromo, the original Saturn J3000 engines have been replaced by two Rolls-Royce N66 Cyclone thrust tunnels with bipolar vectoring for midline lift function. Each power plant develops 65,830 metric tons per thrust, using water for reaction mass. Running wide open, both engines give a high impulse thrust total of 131,600 kilonewtons. The life system aboard the vessel comprises of the aforementioned decks, including the bridge, crew quarters, and mess areas, and science station. CPU model, medical bay, four main cargo bays, engineering stations, all comprising some 1.1 million cubic meters of pressurized volume, including the air ducts and air scrubbing plants. The Nostromo has an operating crew of seven, ship's master, first officer, executive officer, navigation officer, science officer, chief engineer, and engineer's mate. Seven hypersleep capsules have been installed for long duration flights. Polarized gravity generators provide internal gravity and inertial dampening. Beneath the hull is an external docking bay for a shuttlecraft. The shuttle is capable of acting as a lifeboat in the event of a ship evacuation. By law, the Nostromo was supposed to have two fully equipped escape shuttles at the time, but only the shuttle Narcissus was operational in 2122. The shuttle Narcissus was of course where Ripley made her escape after activating the Nostromo's self-destruction. Though interestingly enough, the vessel was indeed designed to equip two lifeboats, which included the E2-designated lifeboat Selmasis. While it's not known exactly why the second shuttle wasn't operational, whether it had to do with any haste in launch preparation or possibly lost function during the Nostromo's voyage, it's certain that it could have been useful during the time of the alien's presence. Had there been a functioning second shuttle, the fateful story of the Nostromo's crew may have ended much differently. With interior and exterior designs from Ron Cobb and Chris Foss, the Nostromo had fast become one of science fiction's most recognizable spacecrafts. It has remained, arguably, the signature and most associated with vessel of the Alien series. Do you have a favorite ship from the franchise? Is it the Nostromo, or do you prefer the Sulaco, or Prometheus, or even the Covenant? Comment below and share your thoughts. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. I have the best, most supportive subscribers in the world, and I can't express how much I appreciate your constant encouragement on this channel. It really means a lot to me. And of course, a very, very special thanks goes out to Willing Jutani Executive, M. Yorick, part of the Patreon Hive. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.